Okay, this is going to be the second part inside of the construction animations presentation. So part two is going to look at object animations inside of Navisworks. So part one we covered uh, people animation, so be able to move from point A to point B and record it and then save it out as a movie. This one is going to be looking uh, at how you can bring in other types of file formats and then merge them into Navisworks and then animating those components. Uh, what you see on the screen here is a crane. We can actually animate the boom. We can look at the, the radius or the circumference of that boom and then look at how it's going to be able to uh, pick up materials from certain components on site and then load them to other parts of the building as it's being constructed. So to bring this data in, uh, we go to the pen button and we can merge in the data here. So it's control M to merge. We can start to break down the model if it hasn't been broken down uh, correctly. So in this case, this FBX file format here was um, set up with a, a, a crane base and a crane boom. We will do uh, some of this inside of Navisworks where we can create selection sets um, if the crane isn't quite configured. And we can also manipulate how that crane is set up. Uh, you can do this uh, a couple of ways in this case. I'm just showing on the screen here how you can move the location of the rotate tool to actually pivot that crane. When we're animating it though, uh, we're going to do it all in the animator. This is just showing that sometimes when you bring in the data and you break it up into certain components, when um, you look at manipulating those objects, not everything's going to be perfect. So sometimes if you need to maybe position certain components, you need to just double check in the item tools tab here that the position of that rotation tool uh, is in the lo right location. So you can man you can manually uh, move this. You don't have to be too accurate, although you can, uh, if we go back one slide, you can actually type in the exact location if you know that those X, Y, Z coordinates. Uh, but when we come to actually do the animation, which I'm going to show in a second as a live demo, we're going to use the animator tool to correct all these locations. So with, uh, without further ado, we're going to animate a crane inside of Navisworks. So this is my uh, Navisworks model that I was showing in previous videos. And what I want to do is position a crane, say, in the location of the core here, and then look at animating it to see whether the boom will uh, reach the pickup and drop off parts for the materials. So here I go to a pen. I'm going to uh, merge in my crane. So this one is one that I've got set up as an NWD. A quick note here, uh, Navisworks will, will read numerous file formats, I think 56 to last count. So even if you don't have an NWD, you may have um, files from SolidWorks or ProEngineer or FBX. All of these different dark file formats will come in and they can be read and then also geared and set up inside of Navisworks to do what you need to do uh, for your particular function here. So I'm going to bring in that crane demo. And you can see here it's coming uh, at a center location. If I go and select my item tools here, um, I can move it and I've got my X, Y, Z gizmos. I could also manually uh, move it here. So you can see if I want to uh, pin that item, I can uh, type the Z direction and uh, it will start, start to move back. So there's several ways you can move it. I'm just going to do the, uh, the, the manual uh, move here. And it's just highlighting on the X, Y, Z gizmos. It's coming at the right uh, location for my Z value. Um, and you can see here it's starting to change in the transform source. So a quick way to manipulate the location or rotate it. Uh, you can also scale it if you need to. Um, and you can pin that down. So that's our crane uh, looking correct in the right location. And what I want to do now is do a couple things. When I go to select that crane at the uh, parent level, it's going to select the whole thing. But if you look at all the components here, um, there's a lot of information. I can go and select all these different components, uh, and they're broken down into parents and childrens of the, the objects. I don't want to have to go and grab all the information. So I just want two parts. I just want the boom and the, the tower part of the crane here. So what you have is uh, selection sets here. I click on selection sets. I can go and create um, crane and boom components, uh, crane and tower components for uh, Navisworks here. So you can see I've done, I've done a few here for um, other components of the model and the ones from the crane 
uh, boom and the tower have come through. What I'm gonna do just to manage this a little better is I'm just gonna say uh, crane, crane parts, and then uh, I'm just gonna uh, grab those and just put them in the folder here. So just a little bit of uh, management and I'll just close up the uh, top hierarchy of that folder. And I think I can probably just grab that. There we go, that let me to open it up. And so I just lost, there it is, a little bit of screen real estate there. Okay, so now we've got the two components and you can see when I'm selecting my model, um, it's grabbing those parts. So this just helps when it comes to managing a lot of data. Uh, so that's a, a good uh, tool to, uh, to have there just to take care of all the information coming into your model. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start to do the animation component. And uh, just for simplicity here, I'm going to hide, hide the building. So I can go here, uh, hide, sele uh, hide the select components, and we're just going to be looking at the crane. So this just helps you to see what's going on. Uh, so we go to the uh, animator tool and I'm going to close a few things here just so you can see a bit of what's going on. And what we actually already have is uh, an animation from previous uh, workflows. This one's uh, super seated now. So I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm just going to delete, uh, delete that scene and we're going to create an animation for the crane boom moving um, in a 180 degree rotation. So crane boom here, uh, selected. I'm gonna start here by going and adding a scene. And uh, the scene, you could uh, rename it. So I will rename it uh, by just double clicking. Uh, with those items selected, we're going to uh, add the animation set from current selection. Call it crane. Crane rotate. It's about correctly. And we are going to, uh, with that rotate animation set, we're not going to touch the rotation tool because that uh, messes things up. We're going to slide that back by just grabbing the arrows there. I'm just zoom in so you can see it's a little better. We're going to move this to the center of the crane where it would be pivot. So you can see here, um, this is about correct. You don't have to be uh, that accurate, you can see, you know, it's sort of enough for what you do. And now we're going to uh, start doing the, the, the timeline here. So I'm just going to move that to the center just so you can see what's going to happen. So here with the um, uh, rotation tools, this is your X, Y, Z rotation tools here, and you can see there's a Z value here, so we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. So we've got um, our first point that we're going to capture the keyframe, so this is our starting point. So I'm going to go capture keyframe and it's going to add a diamond and now I want to go for about 10 seconds and I want it to rotate after 10 seconds. So I'm going to ask it to rotate 180 degrees, you can see it's rotated and I'm going to capture that keyframe and if I just go back a little bit and hit play, we now have a crane animation rotating. So when we go back to our viewpoint, we go to perspective, and we'll just go to here, and we'll find a, a view that looks okay. We can now see when we come to uh, play the animation, the crane is rotating at the center here. We haven't had to be too accurate, it's pretty good. And you can see uh, all the components that are associated with that selection set are rotating with it. Now, if it's going too fast, uh, we can, of course, adjust it. So you could just grab this point and uh, drag it out a little bit. You see there it's at 18. Uh, if we want to be really accurate, we could just go and select that and type in 20. And now it's gone to that point. Uh, sorry, that one needs to go to that point. Uh, you can just right click and go edit. And you can put on 20 seconds. So there's, there's all these other tools here as well. We're just trying to get this basic at, at the moment. But you can start to really play around with um, some of these animation settings. So we have 20 seconds of crane animation. We want it to rotate from point A to point B, 180 degrees. And we can also start to loop it and turn on the uh, PP tool for it to ping pong back and forth. And you can see here now when we go to, uh, to drag this along the timeline, 
um, it will, let's just go from here, uh, it's going to go to one point at the end here, so it's 20 seconds in, it's going to perhaps pick up equipment and then it's going to lift it back into the drop-off location. So the principle is pretty similar if you want to add more components to it, so maybe you want to uh, look at the cables dropping down. You can select these independently and then start adding these to the scene, I've seen people do it. Uh, it's a little more advanced, but uh, it is possible inside Navisworks. Uh, there's other tools for uh, movement and scale, even the uh, changing of color, and this one is transparency. So all of these tools can be used to help uh, animate the objects inside of Navisworks for whatever particular construction uh, animation you need to, to replicate or simulate. So with that, uh, I'll just go back to uh, my home tab here, unhide all, and I now have my crane, so I'll just zoom out. And when we come to, to play that scene, you can see the crane is able to lift equipment uh, maybe it's not far enough to get equipment over to the star core. You may need maybe two smaller cranes, but it gives you the idea of how far it will rotate to pick up equipment, what it can pick up, and then uh, where it can drop off. And here it is, uh, ping-ponging back. And that is the end of crane animations inside of, of Navisworks. I hope this has been helpful.